I don't really have any words to say how yeah. grateful I am to receive this wonderful gift. And if anybody wants to have a look, I can show you. On it, there is Lumachina, Posidoni, and the one cat who brought me to TA, my wonderful forever love, Jambaraska. Thank you. And now, Peter, to you the choice. Do you want me to deliver a boring well, speech? <laughs> <laughs> or or you prefer dinner, having dinner and then relaxed to, uh, to listen to my words? Uh, to you the choice. To you the speech, 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 speech. It's your decision, not mine. <laughs> okay, thank you. Standing now in this room in front of this audience, I am full of wonder. But what amazes me most is not the fact or just the fact of seeing you here, but the fact of being here myself. When I started 25 years ago to come to TA, together with Leah de Quell, just to do something for the poor cats who lived there, I imagined everything except finding myself 25 years later in front of so many people who represent thousands and thousands scattered all over the world. It's amazing. I do not really know how all this happened, but it happened. <laughs> of course, it was not thanks to me, but to all those who, over the years, have worked for the creatures we love so much. It happened thanks to the benefactors who, like you, Help, helped us with incredible generosity to reach our goals. It happened thanks to all the volunteers who have alternated here over the years, either for short or for a long period. I wish to remember, above all, our dear Leah de Quell, who was not a simple volunteer, but Torre Argentina itself, at whose side I found myself since day one. Many of you have certainly known her. Without her will and passion, there would be no Torre Argentina today. How happy and proud she would now be to see you here. How happy and proud. Perhaps so, Hava, she is here, smiling at everybody. Perhaps her willpower is such that she continues to operate somehow for the cats. I am sure that she put Fiona in our path. <laughs> This event was conceived and organized thanks to the initiative and dedication of Fiona. She put all her physical and intellectual energies at our disposal. I remember, amongst many other things, her heroic marathon in favor of Torre Argentina in honor of our Jamburrasca. Yeah. Maybe you remember. Uh, and her infinite activity of information on our Facebook page, 
I don't know why she, how, how she gets to know so many details about our cats, even before us. <laughs> An efficient intelligence service. Oh, maybe Leah has anything to do with it. I don't know what will become of Torre Argentina. It is an anomalous, but an alive and vital reality. According to all human and physical laws, and according to all urban and municipal codes, it should not even exist. <laughs> we are outside the norm, outside the law, unpresentable, unforgivable, <laughs> unrecognizable, not adjustable, yeah. just as stray cats are. Yes. Unconventional, unpredictable, and often rebellious, yes. but always indomitable. Ah, yes. I know, however, that whatever might happen to TA, we will have the whole world to appeal in favor, not of us, but of the cats. We have already been in danger, but thanks to the prompt reaction of thousands of people, we are still here holding the fort. Nothing about cats follows the normal laws of existence. <laughs> There is a mystery surrounding them, and it's mis this mystery reverberates on the existences, of, on the existences of those who love and protect them. There is something which makes me very proud. It is the fact that our bad old, scraggly, shabby, and sometimes even muddy sanctuary has set an example for many in Rome, sometimes even abroad. Many associations have been created on this principle. If they made it, why couldn't we? And of course, they did it too, and this is marvelous for the cats themselves. Did we reach our goals? In less than 17 years, we stabilized almost 60,000 cats, more than all the Roman public clinics did, all put together. But our work is not finished yet, and it never will. Though, I must say, at least in the historic center of Rome, there are no more stray cats, as you may have noticed. People now ask for sterilization, while in the past we had to fight every day against the old mentality. There are still the huge outskirts of the city, which will require much more time, not to mention the terrible situation in the south of Italy. But this evening, let me see only the half full glass, yeah. not the half empty one. Yeah. <laughs> the word I was saying most often during these years is thank you. I cannot know how many hundreds or thousands of times I did say it, but every time I did it with a heart full of gratitude and fully aware of its meaning. I must say it also to all the volunteers who in, the, who in these 25 years have worked with us. There are many of them, and, and it is impossible for me to remember them all. Don't worry. <laughs> Last <minute. laughs> I have at least to name a few who were with us for many years, then had to leave for various reasons, but have left their souls and hearts to tour the Argentina. 
Karen Cortese, Deborah D'Alessandro, Susan Wheeler, and many, many others. I must all also mention other special people, some extra volunteers, so to speak, who are, so to speak, our ambassadors abroad. Martina Soiling, yeah. Angela Müller, in German. Yeah. Be very glad. Anne Anneke Holte in the Netherlands. Yeah. Isabel Fuchs in Katerina Bati in Switzerland. And last but not least, Gilles Tevenon in France. And of course, Fiona Show in the United Kingdom. <laughs> now, I repeat it once again. Thanks to you all. Dankeschön. Danke <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci. Grazie infinite. Yeah. I wish I could say it again in another 25 years, but I am aware that it is an exaggerated demand on my part. You discovered my secret, and you all know that I am a shame. <laughs> Eighty. <laughs> Eighty. Horrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, now that I come to think of it, why not? I would be a century plus, plus five years old. I could stay with the other antiquities in the archaeological area uh, on top of a sarcophagus uh, together with the cats. Why not? But let's come back to reality. You, dear friends of Torre Argentina, you will go on saying thank you for me. All of you, Anna, Agostina, Anna Maria, Carmen, Caterina, Christine, Cristiana, Daniele, Elisa, Gabriella, Laura, Lucia, Melanie, Monica, Silvia, Tina, Valentina, in rigorous alphabetic order. <laughs> I can't find words to thank you all. Some of you are in the, are in the limelight, so to speak. Others work backstage, but you are all equally indispensable, equally essential. I love you all. Thank you for enduring with the patience my nervous breakdowns, <laughs> my daily fights with the computer and other technical devices, my high-pitched voice when I lose control and become a melodramatic. <laughs> but you know me and none of you seem particularly impressed. <laughs> and now, thank you all. See you again in 25 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.